welcome back everybody to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In the previous video we added a door to our building system and in this video we are going to add a window as well. So let's begin. So I already imported the assets in the previous video, I mentioned that, and I'm going to begin by creating a glass material for our glass that we are going to put inside of a frame. So I'm going to right click right here and I'm going to create a new material which I'm going to call glass underscore mat. And I will select this base node and I'm going to change the blend mode to translucent. I'm going to drag from the base color and I'm going to add a vector parameter and I will double click this and I will type all the values at 1 for red, green and blue. If you want your glass to be in a like specific color like greenish, bluish, reddish, whatever then adjust these colors to your likings. I just want mine to be like a regular glass. And the next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag from the emissive color and I'm going to do a constant and I'm gonna type the value to be like 0.8 we will adjust this later and for the opacity I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna create a constant and this is going to be let's say 0.1 and the last one is refraction also create a constant and this will be like 1.2 and I'm going to right click all of my constants and I'm going to change these to a parameter, convert to parameter and this is emissive this to parameter opacity and refraction like so I'm going to save I'm going to close this would you like to apply changes? Yes, I would like to apply changes. Forgot to click apply. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on my material and I'm going to create material instance. Now I will drag in my glass in the world. There we go. I'll rotate this a bit to face the objects in the world. And for now, for the preview, I'm just going to make this bigger and I will drop the glass material instance on top of this material and there we go we have something looking like a glass so what we can do now is open this material instance I'm gonna make this a little smaller and I will check these parameters that we created emissive opacity and refraction now we can adjust these to whatever we want so if we change the emissive to let's say like 2 it makes it more colory gives it more color opacity of course changes the translucency but I'm gonna leave this at 0.1 and the refraction gives us this glass illusion by sort of uh, deforming the things in the world so you can play with these values, adjust these how you like to make the glass fit your needs. And I'm gonna leave this like so. 0 0.45, point, 0.58, yeah, seems good. Also you can change the colors here as well by checking this parameter and adjusting these values. And this seems good enough for me. I find this okay. Seems pretty good. So now I'll we'll delete this. And I'm gonna open up my glass frame material and I'm gonna go and set the material to glass material instance. There we go. So the next thing what I'm gonna do is go to my build mode folder and add a new blueprint class of a static mesh actor class. I'm gonna call this buildable window. And in the static mesh component I'm going to add a window frame. 
like so. And I'm going to add a new component of a static mesh. And this will be our window glass. There we go. So that's it for this actor. So I'm going to compile and save. So we can close this. Now I'm going to go to my buildable wall. In the previous video I've changed this to a wall with the door. Now I will change this to wall window simple which is a wall with a window and I'm gonna add a box collision and I'm gonna change its size x100 no a bit too small 150 yeah seems good and the z to z could be a hundred there we go and I will move this up like so there we go you might have to adjust the positioning like the z axis for this depending on the meshes you have so the higher you put this the higher you will put the window itself so compile and save and I'm gonna rename this to window the box collision and now we actually need to add a trace channel so I'm gonna go to the project settings again like in the previous video collision new trace channel and this is going to be a window build channel except there we go and in the buildable wall now we can set the window box collisions collision to custom and we can ignore all of the build channels except for the wait first I need to compile there it is so I can ignore all but the window build channel now I'm going to change my static mesh back to wall simple but actually you don't have to do this but I have set this uh, by the default like so so I'm gonna leave it like it was now I'm gonna go to my third person character open up my build system variables the buildables database and I'm going to add a new element which I'm gonna call window the static mesh is going to be a window frame and the icon is going to be an empty icon. These assets you can find in the previous video where I'm creating a door. And the cost will be two, two wood pieces, like so. Now I'm gonna go to my build mode. I'm gonna add a new pin and I will, actually I could use the same build door function. So I'm gonna connect this, I think. Oh, this uses the build door. Okay, so I should probably use a new function for this. So then we can just duplicate this build door and call this build window and change build window line trace trace channel to window build channel, like so. And I will use this event, this function, did we hit door for this one as well, let it be like it is, I'm gonna pop this open. So what I'm gonna do here is I will add another safety check so that we wouldn't be able to place the door inside of a wall or a, win a wall with a window. So I'm gonna drag from the buildable wall and I'm gonna get static mesh component should be at the bottom yes there it is and from the base static mesh component I will get a static mesh itself like so and I will check if this is equal to actually I will move these back to make sure that our static mesh component is equal to door simple there we go 
and the door simple is the wall with a door uh, aisle and I will move this back and I'm going to do a and boolean check I will connect the bottom one here and the top one here and this is going in our condition to see if we have hit a door and thus this static mesh uh, component is a door aisle and the next thing what I'm gonna do is I will drag from the buildable wall and I'm gonna get window box collision and I'm gonna check if this is equal to our hit component and like in the top one I'm gonna copy this from the door the static mesh component and the static mesh itself and I'm gonna check if this is equal to window simple there we go so I'm gonna move these forward and I'm gonna do a and boolean check again and now I will do a if branch check like so and now so first we are going to cast to our buildable wall we are going to check if this is a door that we have hit and if it's not a door that we have hit then we are going to perform another check which is going to check if this is a window that we have hit and if it is a window then we can connect the true to our positive return node and if it's false then we can return the false return node like so so I'm gonna compile and save now we can go back to our event graph and I will rem disconnect this pin number 9 and I'm gonna drag in build window connect this to pin number 9 like so and now I will go to mouse left button build something add another pin in this switch and we are going to spawn actor from class and connect the spawn transform and the selected class is going to be a buildable window and this goes to here which goes to stop build mode like so, so compile and save so now we can go to the game let's pick up a few resources let's build a floor window wall another window wall and another window wall window itself and it does not want to collide properly but it does in the top so it's a bit too high so we should adjust this like I said then we need to go back to our buildable wall select our window a bit more down 160 and now the window fits in perfectly the refraction is a bit weird so you can go to your glass material instance so I still don't like it so I'm just going to put in the wall put a frame inside of it it doesn't have to be perfect it's just for the testing purposes only now in our glass material instance we can adjust these values how we want them to be yeah that seems better so play with these values and yeah everything should be fine and one more issue that I want to deal with in this video is so we have this preview but it collides with our pickables who have a collision and a gravity and one thing that we can do is like we can play like, 
like polling or something with our items we can throw them around like crazy which is not good at all so how do we fix this we go to our third person character we open up our spawn build ghost so we can open any of these functions and here we have this spawn build ghost function also in the functions as well spawn build ghost and here where we are creating our build ghost adding a static mesh component so I will drag from my build ghost and I will set collision set the response to all channels and I'm going to do a overlap like so connect this I'm gonna copy this node up here as well where we are spawning the buildable items connect the target to this build ghost new, re new response is overlap compile and save press play press B and now it works nicely we can't build on the items since we are blocking the uh, since they are colliding then they are not allowed to be built inside of a different object so before you want to build here pick up all your items so yeah that's going to be it for this video if you want more specific tutorials leave a comment down below um, in, a, in a few videos I will make this into a multiplayer uh, build mode because right now it has a few issues in the multiplayer but yeah we are going to fix this in the futuring videos so see ya